we want to give a very special thanks to MGA for sending these products to us for free. What's up doll collectors and gift givers? Here is another My Froggy Stuff Buyer's Guide. Today, we are taking a look at Rainbow High. New dolls by MGA. Wow, they went all out on presentation. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Can't say I'm mad at a fancy influencer box. Whoa, these have a little bit of weight to them. But this is literally why I work out, to lift doll boxes. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. It's to be healthy. Who am I kidding? It's all about the dolls. We have a red box, an orange box, and a gold colored box. And they all have names on the sides. We have Ruby Anderson, Poppy Rowan, and Sunny Madison. I am loving these designer vibes here. Now let's check out the dolls. Whoa! Is this the packaging that is going to be on the shelves? It's all gold. Okay, I see the theme here. The box has a rounded edge on one side. It's a pretty gold color on the other side, displaying the fashion. You can clearly see the doll through the packaging and it says her name up in the top corner. Around the bottom of the box, there are illustrations of the different characters in their rainbow colors. On the back of the box, it says Rainbow High at the top. You can see all of the characters. At the bottom, it says, Legend says, at the end of the rainbow, there's a pot of gold. But the truth is, it's something even more amazing. Only a chosen few with an eye for bold fashions can follow the rainbow to Rainbow High, the colorful fashion school where students of all talents and backgrounds learn to flaunt their true colors. These dolls will be on Amazon and at Walmart and Target with a suggested retail price of $26.99 where we can collect the rainbow. Let's get the other dolls out of their boxes. Here's Sunny and here's Poppy. Each doll has a colorful personality, a color theme, and a second outfit. And I do believe I see some articulation. Okay, okay, before we get too excited, we need to get these girls out of the box for a closer look. How do I open this without destroying it? Okay, I'm just gonna cut all the tape. Does that get me into the box? Oh wait, I think I can go through the top. Nope, I'm just gonna open the side. And does this come out? <laughs> How do you open this? Okay, hold on. I am completely deconstructing the box. I, uh, I do apologize. I think I failed at this unboxing, <laughs> but I'm really trying not to destroy it. I did find a doll stand. Here is the doll. Yay! I got the doll. Not my most graceful unboxing, I will admit that. I am sure there was a better way to open this. I just didn't see it. So I deconstructed everything very carefully. And now we're just gonna put it right back in. Cause some of these pieces are really cool. She's free! Out of the box, each doll comes with a doll stand and it's pretty easy to put together. It has glitter in the plastic. There's a matching comb and hangers. This one requires a little assembly, but I don't mind because it has little clips to hold skirts, shorts, and pants. The color of the hanger depends on the color theme of the doll. The stand fits around the doll's waist. It's kind of chunky, I would have liked to have seen it hidden just a little bit more. Now let's talk dolls. The first thing I noticed was the hair. It is soft. The curls are holding their shape right out of the box. This doll looks camera ready. Her hair is neat, very little box hair, 
and it feels like a really nice quality. This is Ruby, and she's wearing a hat, which has some fun little painted details. You can see the little buckle right there. They sculpted stitching into the hat, and on the front, it says rainbow. Let's remove the hat. It is held in place with a little peg that fits into the doll's head. There is a corresponding hole in the top of her head. I think if we wanted, we could cover that up by brushing her hair. It's just right now, I really don't wanna mess up those curls. She has a little bit of hat hair, but come on, that's just being super picky. This doll has inset eyes and real eyelashes. She has glitter eyeshadow, painted eyebrows, pouty lips with a little shine, and her face has kind of a pearly finish. The rest of her body does not have the pearly finish. It's kind of like a matte. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the pearly finish right now. My first instinct is like, no, I want a matte finish. But maybe I'm judging too soon, so I'm just gonna let it marinate for a little while and see how I feel about it. It kind of looks like she's wearing highlighter. This doll has purple eyes, a pink lip color. You can see some painted teeth. She wears a faux leather top, kind of like a pleather with black stitching and gold colored buckles. It Velcros in the back. Underneath, she's wearing a white t-shirt that says sparkle, giving off some Supreme vibes here. She has what looks like a plaid shirt wrapped around her waist. It Velcros in the back. Underneath, she has red jeans with gold details going down the legs and gold stitching. And those are belt loops. Real belt loops, y'all. The pants Velcro in the back and they stop at her ankles. She wears heels. They're clear, black, and red with gold buckles on the ankle. Out of curiosity, I wonder if this outfit will fit my mini-me. It does take a little bit of patience to get these pants off. Her feet are kind of large and those pants are very fitted. So this is taking me <laughs> a while. Come on, come on, you can do it. We're almost there. Ah. Okay, so it's like a crop top shirt. I can totally rock that. The pants fit. They were pretty easy to get on. A tiny bit snug around the thighs, but other than that, they fit pretty good. The plaid shirt fits, but these items do not. You can pretend like this fits, but I wasn't able to Velcro it in the back. I am very, very happy about this because these clothes are detailed. They look like stuff that people actually wear. I like. And when Ruby wears just the red top, she looks like she's wearing a bathing suit. And we get a chance to check out all of her articulation. This doll can move her head from side to side, but we cannot look up and down. The arm can pivot in the socket. It looks like a double hinge elbow here, but it's actually just like one. I mean, yeah, it just has that kind of motion. The hand can turn and go up and down, but that very first time you bend that wrist, make sure you take your time and hold the joint because it was a little stiff and I was a little worried about breaking it. Let's do the ear touch test because that's important. You have to be able to hold a cell phone. So can she do it? Uh, yeah, yeah, she can. Okay, and she can touch her face, she can touch her nose, and she can touch her forehead. She can kind of cross her arms, she can move at the hip, and that's kind of a weird little hip socket there. It's like a little cuff. The leg can turn at the upper thigh. It looks like a double jointed knee here. Let's see, does it? It's a little stiff, I'm kind of kind of nervous. All right, it's very, very stiff. Let's try the other knee. Yeah, okay, so it does bend, but that's pretty much the range of motion that I'm willing to go at this moment. 
I can go about that far. And then I'm a little worried that I might actually break the leg. Wouldn't be the first time I broke a leg during an unboxing, so I'm not taking any chances. No ankle joint and the feet are on an incline. Now let's try on her second outfit. And just so you know, the jacket and skirt fit Mini Toya. The skirt has a little lining to stop it from riding up. It Velcros in the back. The belt Velcros on top. This patent leather looking red skirt has shallow pockets. The belt has rainbow written on it and gold writing. A large gold buckle. She has a tube top with black elastic on the top and bottom, thin white jersey and a red stripe across the middle, faux zipper down the center, and it Velcros in the back. Here is the inside of the black jacket. It has white and red details. Those are white ribbons on the sleeves. It says rain bows. We have some zipper teeth going down the front, but it doesn't actually zip. On the back, it says rainbow, then RH for Rainbow High. And she finishes her look with black boots, with painted flames, stiletto heels, and faux painted gold zippers. I love that they painted the shoes. It's all in the details. If we're following the colors of the rainbow, Roy G. Biv, that means that Poppy is up next. Her hair is like a tangerine, and a cotton candy pink. She has butterflies in her hair. Just like the hat, the butterflies are on pegs stuck into her head. Out of the box, her curls feel pretty good. You can feel a little bit of crunchiness, some product on the ends. On the center one, that one's just all soft. And I just noticed there was another hair color blended in here. It's almost like a blonde. She has blue and purple eyes, a few freckles underneath. Her eyeshadow is like soft pastels. It looks almost like the same colors that are in her hair. Her lip color is a soft salmon. She has on a crop puffy coat. It feels very vinyl-ish. We have the zipper teeth in the front, but it's not a working zipper. The coat is consistent all the way around. I am taking my time removing it. It is a snug fit. This does not look like it will fit Mini Toya, but it is very cute. She has a bright orange faux leather top with yellow stitching. Underneath, she has on a two layered pinky peach dress. It Velcros in the back. She wears high butterfly boots. They are orange, black, and white. On the side, it says for flying. Definitely getting that designer feel here. It reminds me of Off-White. The boots are a little loose in the back. I think that's from how she was positioned in the box. Let's check out look number two. We have an orange faux leather skirt with yellow stitching. Those are some belt loops. On the side, there is a little stitched detail with black and white thread. She has on a peach colored crop hoodie that says rainbow. There's a white stripe going down the arm with rainbow printed on it in gold. A little drawstring in the center that actually works. Painted stripes on the cuffs. And the hood is just two little strips of fabric and they Velcro in the back so it's easy to get it on the doll. So the hood isn't functional, but it does give you the look. She has gold socks. They do have a raw edge at the top. You can see that the fabric pulls a little while you're putting the socks on. These butterfly shoes don't have any openings. So we have to push the doll's foot through this little hole right here. Mm. It took a little bit of maneuvering to get them on, but once you do, she has some orange butterfly heels with painted details like these beautiful butterfly wings and gold buckles. They are really cute from the back. Overall, cute shoe. Last, but definitely not least, Sunny. She has a brown skin tone. It's a warm brown and that blush gives her a nice fresh look. The pearly finish definitely looks like highlighter to me. 
Her eyes are shades of yellow, green, and teal. Brown eyebrows, gold eyeshadow, a pinkish purplish lip, very blonde hair. I'm talking like a uh, Sailor Moon here. She even has bangs, buns. Her hair is divided into two pigtails and it is very long. She does have these little pieces of hair on the side of her face. One's kind of short, stopping at the shoulder. The other is very long and there's a curl on the end. It looks really good in the promo photos. So, I don't know, maybe this just needs to be curled a little more. This doll has earrings. It's a yellow stone and it looks like it's faceted. You can see little painted metal pieces right there on the side. That's a fun detail. They are removable, which is fun. I love that. Sometimes you get dolls and their earrings are like hooked into their head. And you're just like, come on. I want options. I want to be able to change their earrings. So I'm very happy about that. She wears a large oversized jacket. It has a faux zipper in the front. It's gold right here on the side. The sleeves are like an off-white cream kind of color. Then there is a sewn ribbon going all the way down. It says rainbow. The cuffs have yellow stripes. In those cuffs, the coloring is printed in to the fabric, so you don't have to worry about that flaking off. The same fabric is used on the collar and around the bottom of the jacket. She has a sun and moon logo on the back, and I really like how they took the time to make sure the front and the back looked fantastic. Underneath, she wears a yellow dress. It has two layers. The top layer has silver glitter on it. It has straps made out of the same material that they used for the belts and the dress velcros in the back. She wears knee-high rainbow socks. It's a real little sock. The foot is enclosed. She has matching platform sneakers. They're gold on the top with painted white laces and then rainbow on the bottom. Her second outfit, she has a gold colored top with sequin details. Look at all that little stitching. They put a lot of detail into this. With her painted on undies, we can pretend this is a bathing suit or undergarments, or we can add the light yellow pants with golden brown stitching, belt loops stitched on faux pockets. There are cutouts on the leg with mesh and sequins behind it, stitching down the sides, they Velcro in the back. She has a matching jacket with the same golden brown stitching, a collar, faux buttons, the sleeves have gold lettering, it says rainbow, and she has heels. They are gold on the bottom, decorated with white stars with glitter. There's a clear strap across the toe. Then the back of the shoe is a pale pearly yellow with a gold painted buckle. These dolls stand around 11 inches tall, maybe a little more. That is not including their doll stand. With the doll stand, they're a little under 12. So they are a pretty good height. For $26.99, we're getting a fully articulated doll with two outfits complete with shoes, a doll stand, a comb, and little tiny hangers. Compared to what's out on the market right now, that is really good. The clothes, for the most part, are well-made. There are lots of details. They have trendy, designer-inspired styles. I'm a sucker for those inset eyes and eyelashes. And the outfit that we tried on earlier was compatible with a doll from another brand. So we got the pros. We need a few cons, just to be fair. Now, keep in mind, these cons are based on my personal experience opinion, and preference. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of dolls with oversized heads. I like the body proportions to be kind of accurate. These dolls have very short torsos, and I would have preferred a longer torso and a smaller head. The knee joints look like you're gonna get a huge range of motion, and they do bend pretty well. I just would have liked a wider range of motion, and since the joints are pretty stiff, I was a little concerned about breaking them. The face sculpts all look pretty similar. 
I would have liked to seen a little bit of variation, but that's just me being picky. Creating different face sculpts can be very expensive. So if it was between a new face sculpt and a lower price, I'll totally go with that lower price. And just hope for a new face sculpt on the next wave. And I wish they had the ability to look up and down. But I cannot deny that the hair quality is great. The details are great. Overall, I am very impressed with this line. The dolls have unique personalities that you can see in their fashion choices. Ruby is all about creating that custom look. Poppy loves music and she's a DJ. And Sunny is bright and happy and loves all things cute. So there you have it, an up close view of three of the dolls in this collection. Let us know in the comments down below if these dolls are a buy or a pass. In addition to the dolls, we can expect to see an animated web series coming soon. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at some of the dolls from Rainbow High. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye <laughs>